Hello, little friends. I'm Pratima. I welcome you all to this video. Today we'll solve some competency-based questions from real numbers. Class 10 CBSC, which will be asked in the new pattern. Competency-based question means you have to analyze the question and you will think and you will apply your problem solving. So a higher level of thinking is needed for competency-based question. But if we'll go on solving some questions, gradually the problem-solving skills will be developed in you. So let us go for the questions. It is same as your case study question, but here, what will be asked? One question, one concept will be asked in two or three questions. So here, what you have to see, First, you have to, with patience, you have to read the questions. Here, the question is, when the marbles in a bag are divided evenly between two friends, there is one marble is left over. When the same marbles are divided evenly among three friends, there is only one marble left over. When the marbles are divided evenly, among five friends, there is one marbles left over. That means you have to find a number. The question is about a number, number of marbles. When divisible by two, one is remainder. When divisible of, divisible by one remainder. When divisible by three, yes, still you are getting one remainder. And when divisible by five, still you are getting one remainder. So what is that number? Maybe. Let us read the question. What is the least possible number for the marbles in the bag? So first we'll find the options are 31, 30, 32, 34. Then five first you will find out. The number which is divisible by both 2 and 3 and 5. Then we will go for remainder. So what is it? Least number which is divisible by all the numbers. That is nothing but your LCM of 2, 3, 5. This is just the product of this because they don't have any common factor. Now, this 30 is divisible by 2, 3, 5. Now, coming to remainder. Remainder will be 1 in each case. So, 30 plus 1, 31 is answer. Now, see the options. Where is the answer? Answer is 8. 41. What is the number? Another possible number, marbles in the back. Will be, it will be the next number divisible by 2, 3, 5, all will be just your multiple of 30 because 30 is LCM. 30 is divisible by all. Next number divisible by all will be 60. Next number will be 90. Again, I am getting a remainder in each case. So it will be 31, first number, we got it. Here it will be 61, here will be 91. So another possible number of the marbles in the bag may be 30 plus 1, maybe 60 plus 1, maybe 90 plus 1. You have to check. Next, another possible. 31 will not be the answer. So 61 will be the answer. B is answer of this question. So if the question will be, what will the next number? It will be 91 only. Next is, there are four questions. An online shopping website sells 10 type of, 10 type of items which are packed into various size of cartoons which are given below. Cartoon type, length into breadth is given. Small size cartoon, 6 centimeter, 8 centimeter, 
medium 12 centimeter 24 centimeter large 24 into 36 we say 6 by 8 12 by 24 24 by 36 now extra large will be 36 by 48 double extra is 48 by 96 the company places supporting thermocol seats inside every package along the edges the company thought proceeding same size of seats for all types of cartons now we'll go for the question so you understood different type of cartons are there different size we'll go for questions now would be the maximum size of the sheet present to four types of cartons so how to find it so you have to get the lcm or uh, sorry hcf of six twelve twenty four thirty six forty eight to get your maximum size of length HCF. that means common factor so this is equal to six into one six into two six into four six into six six into eight so what is the common factor common factor is six so six should be the length. Length is equal to six. Now coming to breadth. Breadth will take the LCM of a eh, sorry HCF of this. Eight, twenty-four, thirty-six, So it will be 4, 2, 8, 4, 3, 4, 6, 4, 9, 12, 4, 24. So we'll say this is only the common, common factor, highest common factor. So breadth is equal to 4. So it will must be 6 by 4. So I repeat again, first you get HCF of all length, HCF of all breadth, then write in this form 6 by 4. So where is the answer? A is 6 by 4. So A is the answer. The button should be 6 by 4, 6 centimeter by 4 centimeter so that you can be making all type of patterns. Next question. How many such sheets size are possible? Six by four. It is only one. You are not getting more than that. If we get it will be 12 by 8, then it may not be divisible by all. So it will be only one type of cartoon is possible. This is the company later introduced a new size of cartoon called semi large, whose measurement is 14 by 15. 14 by 15. Whether this existing maximum size sheet fits in the shape? Yes, it will fit. It will not fit because 14 is not multiple of 6, 15 is not multiple of 4. It is only fit for 14 into 15, not multiple of 6 and 4. Cannot say. The question is, these are the different size. Now, the company is thinking of it another size in between your semi-large. Semi-large means in between medium and large, semi-large. which is greater than medium, but less than large, here. Semi-large measure, 
is 14 by 15. So now the question is, can it be possible 14 by 15? No. Why? Because we have already calculated it was 6 by 4. Because 6 was SCF of all length. 4 was SCF of all breadth. This is divisible by 6, 6, 6, 6, 6. But if you make it 14, it is not divisible by 6. 14 is not divisible by 6. Thing is not multiple, Julia, right? Not multiple of six. Fifteen is not multiple of four. Size should be length should be divided by six, multiple of six, breadth should be multiple of four. So B is answer. It will not fit because 14 is not multiple of 6 and 15 is not multiple of 4. Next, what should have been size of the semi-large cartoon? Here, they will make a semi-large cartoon. Means in between medium and large. Here, larger than the medium but smaller than the large, so that maximum size should remain the same. So which one will be fixed for this? That means length should be, length should be greater than E of 12, should be less than, L should be length than 12 and less than 24 but again you will see this should be multiple of 6 so multiple of 6 less than greater than 12 less than 24 certainly this will be 18 so length is fixed 18 coming to breadth breadth should be greater than your 24 and less than 36. Breadth should be greater than 24, larger than the medium, but smaller than the large. So it will be 36, 24 and 36. But again, it should be multiple of 4. So what is the number? Multiple of 4, greater than 24 and less than 36, it will be 28. The size should be 18 by 28. 18 paper length. So B is answer of this question. 12 into 8 now, this is the answer. Next. 40, 46 to 47, the questions are two oil tankers condensed. 825 liter and 675 liter of kerosene oil respectively. What is the maximum capacity of the container which can measure the kerosene oil for both the tankers when used the exact number of times? 50, 75, 105, 50, 225. That means the number should be HCF of Sorry, not LCM, HCF of 8 to 5 and 6, 7. Let's find out. 8 to 5 and 6, 7, 5. And directly, I'm going for 25. 25, 3, 75. 75. And here it is 7. Eight twenty-five divided by twenty-five. Twenty-five three times seventy-five. Then seven five. Three seventy-five. Three. Here twenty-five. Twenty-five two fifty.
seven. Go for three, eleven, nine. No more. So twenty five into three is your HCF. HCF is twenty five multiplied by three. That will seventy five liter is the answer. Not A. B is the answer. How many times we have to use the container for both the tank to, tanker to fill? 11 times, 12, 22 and 18 times, 10 and 8 times, 8 and 6 times. So here is the answer only. So for first one, you have to go for 11 times. For second, you have to go for 9 times. So A is answer. question about the games. Tanya have 54 football cards, 72 volleyball cards, 63 basketball cards. She want to put them in a binder. Each piece of the binder should have cards from a single sport and there should be the same number of cards on each page. What is the greatest number of cards Tanya can put on a page 9, 12, 15, 18. So 54 football card, 72 volleyball card, and 63 basketball card. You must be doing the same thing only, keeping the cards very carefully. People love of collecting the cards. So this is just it's here. Because the number will be divisible by 54, will also be divisible by 72, also, also divided by 63. So 54, 72, 63. Recall the multiplication table 9, 6 times 54, 9, 8 times, 9, 7 times. So no more common factor. So 9 is HCF here. When 9 is HCF, now go for the answer. Where is the answer? A is answer. To 49. How many pages will Tanya need for each sport? And here is the answer. This is for football. This is for your volleyball. This is for your basketball. So 6, 8, 7. So read the question. Answer part, how many pages will Tanya need for each stop? For football, six. For volleyball, eight. For basketball, seven pages. So no need of going for other options. I have got the answer. A is the answer. Here, Tina has 39 pairs of headphones and 13 music players. Tina wants to sell all the headphones and music players in identical packages. What is the greatest number of packages Tina can make? This is HCF of 39 and 13. So it is clearly civil 13 is the HCF. So C is the answer. So I hope you have enjoyed. I hope you have enjoyed, so keep on watching.